You know, I really hate all these YouTube videos that completely overhype AI tools. I've used many of these AI tools and most of them are complete garbage, right? And I think we all know it. But I gotta say, I found an AI tool recently and this time it's a little different. I finally decided to give an AI tool a try. I created an AI generated app and website that allows users to generate a terms and conditions for their websites. The user simply inputs their company information and my website will generate a complete TOS template with everything the user needs. What's better is all the leads are stored in my free database. So at this point, I'm, I'm somewhat impressed, right? But let's take a look at another example. Let's step it up a little bit. I decided to create an online booking website where users can schedule online appointments. They can select the dates, time, pick from a category, and book their appointments. You can also increase the amount of fields and make this form as complex as you want. Plus, all the information is stored in a database. But it does get better. You can use any email provider to store these contexts as long as they offer an API key, which most email providers do. You can also instruct the form to accept payments, create a color palette, allow A-B split testing, whatever you can possibly think to make, the tool will generate it for you. So finally, something that we can actually use AI for, right? A booking form. But let's try something a little crazier. I decided to push the limits and I wanted to create an online mortgage calculator for taking out loans. The visitors simply input their loan information and my new website will instantly generate them a clean presentation of their loan information. You can also integrate AdSense or anything you want to generate revenue. Now, if you want to see these websites, I will put them in the video description for you to check out. Oh yeah, one other thing. Did you know this allows Stripe integrations? You can easily allow credit card payments on your new website or app. You can make users pay for bookings, you can add products, services, and even create subscription-based plans for your application. So this really changes things. Now, most of these AI tools that build websites are complete garbage, right? They're really ugly, it takes a lot of work, and it never gives you what you want. But now, since you can add functions inside of these websites, well, that changes everything. Out of all the AI garbage you've been exposed to, this is actually game-changing. With WordPress, most of these functions will cost you a lot. I don't know about you, but I'm really tired of all these WordPress plugins hanging all their users on useless subscription plans. With this tool, you can slowly start to erode all these paid plugins off your websites. Now, right off the back, let me say this product isn't perfect. It's only been out for a few months, but for what it can do right now, I'm actually quite impressed. Now you can use this product for free. There is a link to this product in the video description. This is called Hostinger Horizons, and it's actually one of Hostinger's newest AI builders that can actually automate your websites. Now I've been using this AI tool for about two weeks. So let me show you how to use this tool the right way. So let's check it out. So here is the AI tool. It is called Hostinger Horizons. Now this has only been out for probably three months at this point. And this allows you to build any type of websites or application with this AI tool. So to keep it simple, once you get to this page, you can ask it to create something, right? So a modern landing page, a portfolio website or whatever. And just to give you a quick example right here, I'll just go ahead and type in the modern landing page and then it'll generate a prompt and then it'll now create the specific application or websites. And just like that, you'll see the AI tool has now completely made really cool looking websites. And it includes several pages like the features, pricing, testimonial, and then there's a contact page, but it looks like they forgot to embed the contact form, right? But that just gives you a general idea of how this works. Now, if you ever wanna modify something, all you would do here is just go ahead and let the AI tool know, and then they can modify the existing project. For example, so create a contact form that allows users to enter in their name, email, and message. Also make sure to store that contact in my database. Now the database is actually separate from hosting or horizons. It's using a platform called Supabase, I believe. And basically all the information, like the emails and all the messages will be stored there as well. Okay, so I went ahead and I updated the project and when I click on contact, it then takes them to a contact form where they can enter in their name, their email address, and then their message. Now, one thing also is you can preview this. So if you ever want to preview your project outside of the Horizons interface, you'll click on preview web app. And just like that, your web app is now live on the internet. And you can always navigate through your application right here by checking out the features, the pricing, the testimonials, and other parts of the websites. Now, really quick, let's go ahead and jump back to hosting or horizons. Now, we made this web app, right? And you might be asking yourself, can I add a domain for this? The answer is yes, you can add a domain. So here at the top, I'll click on publish. And as of now, the project has now been published on the internet. So right here, you can actually connect the domain and this really changes things because now you can add a really nice domain on top of your web app. So you can essentially build really complex you know, websites with a lot of functions and features and then add a domain on it, making it look like a real website. Now, what I was showing you earlier, that was just a demonstration. So I was actually showing you how to use this tool the wrong way. Many people use this tool and they hop on a hosting or horizon 
reasons, and they just start asking it a bunch of questions. Now, if you wanna use this tool the right way and you wanna make complex websites that look good and have a lot of functions, we need to go to ChatGPT. So let's go over there. Now, ChatGPT is where you're gonna do most of the grunt work, and I highly recommend to enter the prompts here because every time you enter a prompt on Hosting or Horizon, it's gonna cost you. Now, the first thing that I would do is ask it if it's familiar with Hosting or Horizons to build a relationship with the AI tool. So, so the first prompt is I'm asking it, are you familiar with Hosting or Horizons AI tool? Let's go ahead and enter this in. It's now gonna search for this specific tool and it's gonna you know, start understanding it, right? So now it knows what we're talking about. So now that we've done that, now let's ask it another question. I want to create a web application with this tool. Can you help me? Okay, so at this point, ChatGPT knows that we're talking about hosting or horizons, and they finish this off with questions. So what are you trying to build? And do you have any specific features? Let's ask ChatGPT to actually be very descriptive with these prompts. Let me give you an example of the prompts you should give it just to give you an idea of how descriptive to be. So let's take a look at this prompt that I generated. And then at the end of this, we're going to ask ChatGPT to create a prompt for the hosting or horizons AI tool. I want to create an online booking website for doctors. First, create a modern doctor website with a blue, teal, and white color palette. Make sure to include a nav menu and also a contact form that works. Then I want the users to be able to book on the websites. So I think you understand what I'm saying, right? You need to be very descriptive on exactly what you want. The longer the prompt, the better. Now I finished this off by saying, can you make an AI prompt for this with hosting or horizons? Make it about two paragraphs in detail. Now, the reason why I put two paragraphs is because if you just go ahead and just ask it questions, it's just gonna give you like bullet points and it's not gonna be descriptive for the hosting or horizons tool. So let's go ahead and push enter here and see what it generates. And voila, so here's the AI prompt that we're gonna give to Hosting or Horizons. Now, if you wanna be more descriptive, you can always ask ChatGPT to expand on each section. You can also ask it to create three paragraphs if you wanna go that route. It doesn't hurt, right? The more information you give it, the better. But I'm just giving you a general rundown of how to use this tool with Hosting or Horizons. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy this, and now we're gonna go back to Hosting or Horizons. And now we're gonna paste this in. But before I do that, I want to let it know I'm making a new project. I want to make a new project. So now it's basically saying, are you sure? And what I'm gonna do is put yes, and then I'm going to go ahead and place that prompt right here, All right? And now it's going to create this specific project. So let's go ahead now and uh, run this AI script and see what it creates for us. And just like that, we now have a really cool looking hospital website, right? And it's using the colors, right? Blue, teal, and white. Here, I'll click on book appointment, and this takes us to a selection where we can select a doctor. Now, I instructed the AI to add two doctors, which is Mr. Wilson and Mr. Brady. Now, you should tell it what kind of doctor it is. Like I said, you gotta be really descriptive with it, as you can tell, or else it's gonna enter in demo content. So I'll put Mr. Wilson. Here, we can select a time and a date. I'll put in my name. All right, Daryl Wilson, right? And then Daryl at AOL. Dot com, put in a phone number, right? And then howdy. And then right here, I'll click on book appointment and then you'll see the booking is confirmed. Now, the information that you enter into this application will be stored in a database called Supabase. I'll talk about that in just a bit. But before I show you that, if I go to the About Us section, you'll see it created an About Us page. And then also we have this contact form, which again, all of the messages will be stored in your database. Now, here at the top, I'll click on Publish, and you can just publish this and just put it live on the internet with one click. I mean, the ease of use with this is actually frightening. I mean, we can make something really complex in a matter of minutes. And voila, we now have our beautiful web app now live on the internet. I mean, that is pretty quick, right? So here you'll see that we can book appointments. We can check out the About Us page, the contact page, and it looks like a full-blown website that we made in like a matter of minutes. But let's go ahead now and sync this up with Supabase. So right here, you'll see this little Supabase. I'll go ahead and click on this. And this is where you can create an account and link it with Supabase. Now, this is a separate service from Hosting or Horizons. So Hosting or Horizons is not going to store this information. If you wanna save projects, you wanna save contacts, emails, and messages, this information will be put in tables in Supabase. So uh, right here, I'll go ahead and connect this and connect it. You will need to create an account. Now they do give you a free trial. So they give you like a free like trial to use it with. And then after that, you have to upgrade and it's like 25 bucks or something like that. So yeah. Okay, so once you create an account with Supabase and then you instruct Hosting or Horizons to connect it, it'll then generate tables for you and store all this information in your uh, database. Now you can access this by going over here to Supabase and then just going to the dashboard. 
Okay, so this is Superbase, and really quick, I'm just gonna go to the table editor right here. So then you'll see that the Hosting Horizons app has now created a table for all of our submissions. So now let's go back to our website and just try it out. And let's give it a try. So book appointments, here we'll go ahead and select a doctor, date and time, here we go, Daryl. All right, and then what's up? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Here, click on book appointments. And there we go. So the appointment is confirmed. And if we go over here to our Superbase accounts and we refresh the page. All right, and here we go. And voila, right? So here we have the doctor, doctor name, appointment dates, appointment time, the patient name, patient email, the phone number, and also the message. Now, I know this doesn't look as UI friendly as you would like it to, and I agree, right? I don't wanna have to come to this and open this up. There is ways that you can integrate this with other platforms. I'm not too familiar with this platform, but there is other ways to integrate this platform to relay messages to something like Zapier or some other CMS. But all in all, this is pretty impressive so far, right? So let's create something else. I'm gonna create a TOS generator, right? So I want to create a TOS generator with hosting or horizons. Can you help with the prompt? Here I'll press enter. Now the reason why I like to do this is because basically I'm setting it up, right? Once you familiarize the AI with hosting or horizons, it creates better outputs than just typing in like out of random, right? Now what's interesting here is ChatGPT actually remembered what I typed in earlier and it's trying to create something like around what I like, you know, and I do like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna give it a new set of orders. So here we go. Please create a prompt with this AI tool that allows users to enter their email and business name and location. Then I want the website to generate a TOS for them. Make sure the web application is modern and easy to use, right? So I think at this point you understand what's going on, right? The more information that you give it, the better. So let's go ahead and publish this and see what it creates for us. And there it is. So now we're gonna take this prompt and go back to hosting or horizon. So uh, I think at this point you understand what's going on, right? You do want to give the chat GPT a lot of information and ask it to create a very descriptive prompt. The reason why is because you're gonna spend a lot of your time trying to correct the AI. You're gonna waste money, you're gonna waste time. But by using chat GPT, it makes things pretty simple. And voila, we now have a TOS generator. Look at this, right? Let's go ahead and test it out. So right here, I'll click on get started now. It brings us to a TOS generator. Here, I'll go ahead and put in my name, generate TOS, and there we go. If we scroll down, you'll see it has now generated a TOS for us. Now, we could have instructed the AI to create a downloadable PDF, or the user can just go ahead and copy and paste all this and then place it in their TOS part of their website. So what do you think so far? Pretty cool, right? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this app. So since it can create like specific functions and features, it makes this AI tool a lot more useful. Let me give you one last example before I let you go. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm asking this to create a loan interest calculator similar to bankrate.com. Now I do give a link. I'm not sure if it uses links or not yet, but we'll see. Can you create an AI prompt for hosting or horizons that has all the same features and functions as bank rates? I wanna create an AI prompt that's about two paragraphs long. Now, since we've been using this more and more, ChatGPT has an idea of what we want. So let's just go ahead and enter this prompt and see what it gives us. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take this prompt and now let's see what this creates for us, right? So let's go back over to Hosting or Horizons and we're gonna paste this in. All right, and here is our Loan Calculator website. Let's take a look here. Uh, here we have Loan Calculator and here we go. We have Loan Details. We have the Interest Rate, the Loan Term, Years, right? Wow, I, I love this UI. Look at this, it even breaks down the payments and principles. I mean, this is really good. So let's go ahead and see if this actually works though, right? I mean, it looks good, but does it really work? Let's go ahead and first open this on a new tab. All right, here we go. So Loan Calculator. And we're gonna go ahead and put $500,000, right? Annual interest is about 5%. Loan term, 30 years. And this is monthly. And then look at that, it updates really well. So these are our monthly payments, our principal, and this is the interest, right? Let's go ahead and update this. Let's go ahead and put 6%. All right, so now we have the monthly and everything looks like it's working well, but I'm not convinced yet. Let's test this against bank rate and see if they gave us the same numbers. And look at that. So our monthly payment is 2997 and our monthly payment is 2997. I mean, this thing works perfectly. What about the total loan cost? Total, let's see, total interest paid, 
five, seven, nine, total interest paid five and seven, nine, right? This works perfect, right? So you can see that these AI tools actually work. But so far with hosting your horizons, I would say I'm pretty sold on this AI tool. Now, there might be a few questions you have. Now, the first one is, can I integrate this with my WordPress websites? Now, the answer for that is kind of, right? So this is actually built off React. However, you can create specific web apps and then have that in React and then insert that in your WordPress website using a code widget. So it cannot completely make WordPress websites using all the builders and the plugins just yet, maybe in like a year from now, but you can insert the code from these builders and insert that into your WordPress websites. Now, the question remains, can this AI tool really replace WordPress? Well, I'm, I'm not gonna say yes or no just yet, but I'm definitely not gonna take it off the table. The reason why is because while this is getting much better, it still is somewhat of a struggle to actually build your website, right? You have to instruct it on the text, on the colors. The amount of prompts you have to enter to get what you want is tedious. However, using ChatGBT in correlation with this tool, it does somewhat simplify the process. Now, since this tool just came out, I mean, imagine three years from now, you know, from three years from now, I think this product's gonna get better. So the question is, could it replace WordPress? Over time, I would say it's not going to get rid of WordPress, but it's definitely probably gonna reduce the demand of WordPress. I think in the future, you're gonna see something like this. People ask you, hey, how do you wanna build your website? We have WordPress, Shopify, or we have the AI tools. And I think it's just gonna be another CMS where people just use that to build websites. So instead of actually replacing them, I think they'll just be direct competitors with other CMS platforms. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and good luck on your AI website or app or whatever you're gonna make. My name is Daryl Wilson and I'll see all of you party people later.